What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Alfixie and welcome back today to Subnautica. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today is the day, the big day, where yes, finally, after many, many moons of searching, we are gonna build our very first Cyclops. Oh my goodness, I'm super excited about this one. So... Yeah, last episode was a pretty cool one, actually, because what we did is we went over to the Sea Trader's Path, which is the first time we've ever been over there. So I think, as well as the Sea Trader's Path, there's also another biome, which was kind of next to it. Can't quite remember what the name of that is off the top of my head, but I'm getting much better at remembering where certain biomes are and what resources and stuff are in those biomes, which is super useful. Um, but yeah, the good news is, is we did manage to finally find the whole sections of the Cyclops. And what I've been doing here just for maybe 15, 20 minutes or so, is I have been preparing myself to make this bad boy. So, so far, so good. I have, um, I need to make these plasteel ingots. So if we go over to uh, blueprints and then we go to cyclops here, we need just a couple more of the plasteel ingots. Uh, enameled glass, I've got. Lubricant, I've got. I've made an advanced wiring kit. We've got the lead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so do you remember a couple of episodes ago when stalker teeth were really hard to find? Yeah, it turns out they're really not that hard to find. Um, I found this amazing little ravine. So obviously the stalkers, they like to hang out by the um, by the creep vines and stuff. And there's this really thin ravine with a ton of scrap metal over it. Now, what happens is I do think that you can crash your sea moth into them and they will drop teeth. However, the easier way is when they actually bite the scrap metal, the stalker teeth, they drop out. Um, so yeah, there was this ravine with about seven or eight um, like scrap metal and I, I kid you not it was literally raining stalker teeth like it was the most bizarre thing ever uh, And I managed to get loads of them So I would assume that enameled glass might be something that's used for something else Well, the good news is is we've got loads and loads of stalker teeth now uh, Just sort of chilling. It was crazy It was like every time I picked one up because it makes a weird noise It goes like bloop, bloop, and then another one was like floating down and it was oh my goodness me far too many stalker teeth to handle um, but yeah, we've got loads now, which is cool. So, I have a sneaking suspicion that we actually have all the resources we need to build this Cyclops. So let's celebrate with the Chinese potato, as is the custom in these parts. Nom, 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 nom. Yes. So, I was kind of thinking about this, and as well as doing our Cyclops, which we're going to be doing today, uh, obviously there's things in terms of Cyclops upgrades and all that good stuff, which we're going to have to look at. But I do think it's probably about time that we moved our sort of little starter base and we kind of moved somewhere with a little bit more space to build. Uh, this is was quite a good area to begin with because it's next to a geothermal vent, it's nice and safe. Um, but yeah, it's kind of on an angle. It makes building a little bit tricky and uh, yeah, it's really noisy. <laughs> so I was thinking, you know what? Uh, we might try and scout out a new location to move. There's a few really cool options. But yeah, this guy is just irritating me. So I think, you know what, it's probably about time pretty soon that we move to a different location. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to be doing that fairly soon. I want to start having, like, you know, a really nice big base. And I want to have, you know, all of the cool things that you can do inside the base. Um, and, you know, just have a bit more bit more room to do fun for activities, you know what I mean? Uh, okay, so what we can do now is we can go up to this thing. Uh, and we can use our vehicle bay to craft our cyclops. Oh my goodness, are we ready? Three, two, one. Build here. Must be constructed in deeper water. No! Are you kidding? Can I move this thing? <laughs> wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. How do I? Oh God. Oh God. It's not deep enough here? Oh geez. Oh, this is a life pod. What am I doing? Um, okay. Oh no, can I move this thing? I can move it, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to push this bad boy. Where am I gonna go? Okay, so it's it's a bit deeper over here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, this is a nightmare. This is a nightmare, okay. Um, so I'm gonna have to push this bad boy. I, I wonder if I, can I pick it up? Where's it gone? Here. Uh, oh, there we go, yes, okay, I can pick it up. Woo, okay, I got worried there for a second. I thought I'd have to push it. Um, So we need deeper water. Now, oh my goodness, it's so dark. Um. Where would deeper water be? I mean, this is slightly deeper. See, I was hoping if we could do it somewhere near the base, then we could use the Cyclops to trans uh, like transport all of our stuff and, like, you know, have it, um, sort of, you know, have it so we can move to a different location. I'm going to try and put it here. This looks like deeper water, doesn't it? Uh, boom. 
Okay. So let's try this now, maybe? It should still be safe here. Um, hopefully. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go. Vehicle, Cyclops. Yes! The Cyclops is designed to be operated by a three-person crew. Only experienced Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. Well, that's not me, but we're going to do it anyway. Oh, it's majestic. It's beautiful. It's so big. I love it. I love it. Okay, so here we go. Woohoo! Wow, okay. This is amazing. There she is! Wow, okay. I'm super pumped. Um, this thing is huge. And uh, we've got lots and lots of things that we can do with it, I guess. Uh, board the Cyclops. Okay, so we go underneath it? Okay. <laughs> here we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. It's another voice. I like the lady's voice. Welcome aboard, Captain, she always says. <laughs> but, uh, wow, okay. So, I mean, we kind of need to work out what on earth this is. Like, so this must be the lower deck. Um, so if we go up here. Right. Okay, so this looks like the engine room. Ah, okay, so this is where we put the upgrades. I think we've actually got one upgrade somewhere. Oh, no, 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 I think that's the, for the prawn suit, isn't it? I can't remember. Oh, okay. So these are the power cells. Now, this is what powers it. Uh, the one thing that I was wondering, though, is we don't actually currently have a power cell charger, which is slightly concerning. Um, so we need to kind of... Ah! Ooh! Okay, so what kind of stuff can we... The depth module, obviously, that's going to be a really useful. And I'm guessing that we can use a modification station to make it go deeper. So once again, it's these plasteel ingots, which are a bit annoying to make, but not a big deal. Cyclops engine efficiency module. So we don't know currently how to make benzene or polyaniline, but I suppose we could learn. Um, shield generator, sonar upgrade, Cyclops docking bay repair module. Oh, that's cool. So when you dock your Cyclops, it will repair it for you? Huh. Actually pretty cheap as well. Repair tool, but copper wire. Okay. Uh, a decoy tube upgrade increases the capacity of the Cyclops decoy... Oh my goodness me. feel like I've turned over like five pages at once here. I'm not ready for this level of responsibility, man. Are you kidding? This is cool. Okay. So what have we got here? We've got... No vehicle dock. Oh, okay, so this is where I dock a vehicle. Gotcha. Okay, 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 okay. Ah. Decoy tube. Don't know what that is just yet, but I'm sure we'll learn. Okay, and here's the bridge. Or well, the front bit. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> okay, so this is the health. Uh, oh, I can change my color. <gasps> Should we go with the yellow submarine again? I mean, is, how do we tell... How do we tell, like... Um, how do we tell what um, what it looks like from the outside? So if we... That's the same... Should we go yellow... Thingy in black. And we're going to name him Mr. Cyclops. <laughs> we might as well we might as well stick with the theme. Okay, boom. Done. So we can't currently tell what it looks like until we actually go outside. Maybe it's horrible. Maybe it's cool. I don't know. What's this? Okay, we've been to that bit. Okay, so what's this? Uh, toggle internal lighting. Ah, okay. So that could be a power thing. To toggle external lighting. Gotcha. Should we try and have a little thingy? Oh god. Oh god, what is all this? <laughs> Engine on. Engine powering up. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay. Oh. It's working. We're rolling, Captain. I'm in my submarine. Yes, finally. Da da da. We're only 19 meters deep, but you know what? Pretty good so far. Okay, so this gives us... So if I go close to this rock, is it going to tell us that there's a rock? Tell me that there's a rock. Why are you not telling me that there's rocks? There's definitely rocks here! Oh, God. Okay, maybe let's not, let's not crash it on our first go. <laughs> oh, man, it's so cool. Um, So I assume this is the... It flagged emergency speed. Morning. Vessel counterfeit. Excessive noise. What? What have I done? Cavitate? What's that? Sound the horn! <laughs> okay. I don't know what these do. 
Oh, this is the speed of it. The head standard. Ah. Gotcha. Okay. How do I go down? It's the one thing I haven't worked out just yet. Um. Oh, rig for silent running. No way. Jeez, this thing is so complicated. Ah, that's down. How do I go deeper? We need to go deeper, Captain. Shift? No. Forcing engine overheat. Oh, God. The head standard. Okay. I've already overheated my engine. I think, okay, so maybe maybe it doesn't like going quickly. <laughs> maybe we need to upgrade it or something like that. Um, so this thing is, is just straight up madness, isn't it? This is so cool. And with this bad boy, we're actually going to be able to go and do uh, that next mission. Well, having said that, I haven't quite worked out how to make it go deeper yet. Oh. No, that's not it. Hang on, bear with, bear with. Ah, figured it out. It's, it's C for some reason. C is go deeper. Yeah. Okay, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's all oh, God, I've crashed. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, let's try and stay in the uh, the deep water. Um, okay, this is really cool. So, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, obviously, but the cool thing about this now is that we can... One, we can go much deeper, which is awesome. We can also transport our sea moth, which is also awesome. And we can also use this thing to... to move all of our stuff. Have I already crashed it? No, no, it's okay. Yeah, I love it. All right. Okay. Awesome. 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 So let's uh, let's go and take a look at a little look at our paint job. Oh, look at all these storage lockers. Oh, that's gonna be so good, man. Uh, so we can use those to like move all of our stuff when we actually build like a super base somewhere. Um. Oh, do I need to turn? Oh, I need to turn the engine off. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I need to remember to do this, otherwise the power is just gonna like go drain, doesn't it? Um. So pilot sub, and and power down the engine. Powering down. Yes. So that little drive there took 2% power, but we do have six energy cells. So that's, you know, quite a lot. Uh, awesome. Oh, look at it. It looks amazing. Yes. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's so cool. <laughs> okay. Well, this is our nifty little uh, yellow submarine. Um, I suppose maybe we could do some upgrades for it. I don't know. I, th I thought we had one upgrade for it, or maybe I'm just making that up. Let's go and have a little look. It might just be a general one. Welcome aboard, uh, oh, I can do this water, actually. Let me go and grab this. Let me go and grab you, and you, and you. Fantastico. Uh, get out of here. Get, get out. Come on. Close. Okay, there we go. Uh, and boom, and boom, and boom. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, did we have one? It was a... Okay, that's my special egg. Where did I put it? Oh, it's this. Yeah, Cyclops engine efficiency module. Recycles heat to produce to increase engine efficiency. Yeah, there we go. So could I upgrade this? Does that actually upgrade or... No, it's only depth modules in the modification station. Ah, okay, interesting. So I think depth module would be one that we really need to make and fairly quickly as well. So let me go and see how much that cost. So I'm kind of hoping that all of the random scavenging that we've been doing recently is going to kind of pay off now. Uh, and the good news is, is that we we grabbed like a load of lithium from, um, not lithium, we grabbed a load of rubies from where we were a couple of episodes ago. So, for example, here we have the Death Module Mark 1, which is a Plasteel Ingot and 3 Lithium. Uh, I've already put in the Engine Efficiency Module, which we got from, I think, one of the wrecks somewhere. Um, so, in theory, let's go and have a little look, shall we? Uh, we have our Death Module. What's the depth of it anyway? Usually it tells you. Tell me when I get in. No. Huh. Okay. Uh, I'm not too sure what the depth of it is right now, but if we go into our modification station now, we should be able to upgrade this. Let's go and have a little look. So if we go in here and... Oh. Ah, okay, okay. So this is what we need. We need the Mark 1 depth mod... Wait, didn't I just make it? Yeah, Cyclops Death Module Mark 1. So why does it not say that I've got it when I definitely do? Oh, I'm in Seamoth. Oh god, have I made the wrong one? Oh no, there we go, there we go. Okay, so we need another Plasteel Inga and three Nickel Ore. Ah, yes! It's the Nickel that we got from last episode. 
Awesome. Okay, that's really good news. Uh, ah, the third one is Kyanite. We don't have that just yet. We haven't found any. Um, but we can at least we can do two. So let's make another plasteel ingot. Oh, jeez. Do I have enough lithium? Ooh, just about, I think. Just about. Okay, so if we do one of these bad boys into this, do we have enough lithium? Please, please. Yes, okay, we do. Awesome source. So we can do that. Get those. Fantastic. And then I think we've got lithium in here. No, nickel even. So one, two, three nickels. Go in here. Cyclops upgrade. Death module mark two. Yeah. Awesome. So does it tell you how deep? No. Increases safe depth diving considerably. Does not stack. So, I mean, that's all that we can do for now in here. The one thing I'm wondering, though, is which are the good upgrades? We have, what, six slots, which is quite a lot. But I imagine that there's more than six. So, I remember I watched one of Justin's Subnautica videos before we started the series. And he already has, like, his Cyclops and stuff. But he has, like... Does he have the shields on it? I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so... I mean, oh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's currently seven. I imagine there might be a couple more. Uh, engine efficiency. So we've got the depth module. The sonar upgrade scans the terrain outside the Cyclops and displays it on a 3D map. Ah, that's why I didn't work early, because we don't have the upgrade for it. But we could do that. Magnetite and computer chip. That's not too bad. I like the idea of the Cyclops repair. Thermal, thermal reactor converts environmental heat energy into electrical. That sounds amazing, but we don't have the, the kyanite. Hmm. Okay, so let's go in here, access upgrades, and let's put our Mark II in. Ah, so our crush depth is now 1,300 meters. And the place that we want to go is 1,200 meters. Hey, 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 we did a thing and it worked. Na, 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 na. <laughs> awesome. Okay, um, so I'm kind of wondering, do I do some more upgrades on the Cyclops or do I try and scout out a new location to start building our super base? I kind of want to try and do a super base location because if we find a really nice area, then we can actually, like, start moving all this stuff away and we can start, like, you know, setting up that permanent home. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. We want somewhere that's safe. I don't want anywhere that's too deep. I'm not going to build, like, one of these super deep bases just because it seems kind of silly when we can have, like, we can just dive whenever we want. But I do want somewhere that's a little bit away from those geothermal vents because they're really noisy. Maybe we could do bioreactors or we could also maybe do nuclear reactors. Ooh. Possibilities. Hmm. Okay, so I'm scanning an area and just kind of looking around for where would be like a decent place. Um, so there's a couple of different locations that I quite like. To be honest with you, though, I don't really want to have like, you know, move too far away and, and have... Uh, like, you know, something far away. I, I like to kind of stay roughly near the safe shallows just because I think it makes life that little bit easier. Um, so one of the areas I was looking at was... I've actually lost it now, which is a bit annoying. Uh, but it's one of the areas with the red grass, and it's quite flat, uh, which I think would be quite good. Um, but yeah, I think it will give us a lot more space to build. Although having said that, I've actually lost where I location just was so let me try and find it again um but I, I was considering there see this is this is where we are right now um so i think it would be over here wait let me get my bearings i think it's this way aha yeah here it is i really like this area i think this area looks really nice um i like the red grass and it's not too deep it's not deep at all uh but it does give me lots of flat area so i think the only thing that's around here are these guys but if we move all right dude chill out chill out all right all right okay we've got some <laughs> got some slightly aggressive neighbors but i think this place would be pretty cool right here um yeah i like this i think this would be good and i think this is the entrance to the mushroom cave or is it? No, no, it's just a ravine. Yeah, I think if we follow this and we go around a little bit, I think it goes to the mushroom cave. What do you guys think? Do you like this area? I like this area. I think this is cool. Um, so I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna build here. Ow, ow. Okay, yeah, I've decided we're gonna build here. We're gonna build right here. Um, so let's see if we can get just some basic structures done for now. Um, uh, we're gonna need lots and lots and lots of titanium to do this. Uh, okay, bear with. 
So I think one thing we're going to try with this is we're going to try and build it on foundations. Um, it's something that I haven't actually tried just yet or used, but I think it might be quite a cool way of doing it. Um, and yeah, so this is this is kind of a bit weird. I don't really know how the foundations work exactly, but I mean that just looks crooked to me. Oh, well, maybe it isn't. Um, okay, so yeah, that's what I want to do. So I'm thinking I want to have a moon pool, obviously. But oh, look at the view. <laughs> it's got this massive uh, reef back. So cool. I wonder if we could build it around this thing. Would that be really weird or would that actually be quite cool? I reckon that'd be quite cool, actually, if we built it around this pillar and have, like, the pillar in the middle. Uh, let's give that a go. Should we try that? All right, let's try this out. So if we do it like that. Oh. Yeah, let's build it around the pillar. I reckon that'd be really cool. So if we do like a big square around the pillar, then we can actually build on the foundations. I think that'd be pretty nifty. It's going to look mad, especially with all the legs and stuff, but I think that'd be pretty cool. So the only problem about this is that um, I need a lot of lead, which is kind of the issue. Um, so, you know, multi-purpose rooms. Ah. Ah, we've got an issue. Ah! Ow! We've got an issue. Why don't you fit on there? I'm going to have to build a lot of these foundation platforms. Oh no, I was thinking it would be... I suppose you can put them on, but they're kind of crooked. Hmm. Hmm. This may be one that I'm going to have to think about a bit. I want it to be nice. That's the problem. So I can I can deconstruct this, maybe. Um, I don't know what's best. The cool thing about the deconstruction, though, is you get all of your resources back. So... Yeah, I don't know what's... Did I get all my resources? Yeah, I got them all. Okay. Um, hmm. This is one that I think you might have to leave with me. Um, I'm going to have to get loads and loads of lead. That's going to be the problem. But once we have the lead, it shouldn't be too difficult. Ow. Okay, these guys are really annoying. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, it's a case of what we really want to do next. It's, it's going to be quite tricky to do that, but I think maybe this would be a really awesome location. But I, I'm, I'm thinking that it would be really nice to build it on... Unless we have just, like, something over there. So maybe we don't build it around the pillar. Maybe we build it in the grass. But maybe we have the moon pool by the pillar. That's another way of doing it. I'm just thinking, like, all of the legs on the foundations. I think it would look kind of ugly. Whereas if we do it, like, quite low in the water. So if we do, for example... If we do it quite low. So maybe if we had the back bit, like, here. Let's see what that looks like. So if we do it here instead... Yeah, maybe that would look nicer. Having said that, though, we're going to be extending out and sidewards, so... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. It's tricky, this building thing, isn't it? Okie dokie, so ladies and gentlemen, I think that unfortunately is going to be about it for this episode here today. However, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on a massive resource grind and just see what we can do. And hopefully, by the time we come to the next episode, I'll have, like, the basic shape done, I guess. We'll see how things go. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and make it look nice because if this is gonna be our permanent home, we want it to look cool. The good news is about this place though; it's deep enough to have the um, the cyclops nearby, so it kind of you know it kind of ticks a lot of boxes. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. So if you did enjoy this, please remember to poke me in that like button, and if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Subnautica done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rantio.